What up, people? We are back in Anime Last Stand, and this time we're going to show you how to AFK Marineford. Act 6. Now, we're doing Act 5 because we already hit our limit of 6, but if you stay in Act 6, you could pass your limit. You could do it as many times as long as you don't leave. Now, this one's a little bit more precision and tricky because you want to line up perfectly. We kind of start here, and you want to hit the road perfectly. Land right on the road, stop right here. You see how we're like on the fence? You could go like here around, but look, Tatsumaki's really hard to place on this. But I noticed that clicking on the window right here, see this window here? That is where you want to get, that's the sweet spot for her. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start recording right away. Always click, I'm clicking record on tiny task, and now we're clicking retry. Okay. And then we have to get this right out the gates. If we don't get this, we have to reset. Oh, that's that's good. Ooh, that was that could be good. I don't know if that's good though. Let's see. Click click. Click. I'm going to say that's good. I'm going to click everywhere just in case, like this. This is the one time where you're supposed to click everywhere. But keep it in the window. Because right now, I go up and I click on her. And now I could start upgrading her. If this is not a 30 second tiny task, because uh, you're moving. You can never do 30 second tiny tasks while moving. I mean, I guess you could, but there's chances that... Uh, it messes up and you're just taking L's back to back to back. But it is what it is, you know? Sometimes it's worth it just so you don't have to, so you're ensured that if it does mess up, you restart. And uh, yeah. So when you're doing this, you always want to click on the spot she's going to get placed multiple times. You want to click on the spot she is placed multiple times. Then you want to create click on the upgrade multiple times. Every time you upgrade once, click like three or four times, five times, because you wanna make sure she actually gets upgraded. The worst thing you could do is not upgrade her and then lose. So she basically solos act, uh, act six. I've already tested it. That's why uh, I ran out of retries, but yeah, I was retrying it and retrying it and retrying it. And it didn't matter how many times, it didn't kick me after six. So don't worry, you just keep doing it uh, as many times. As long as you don't leave, you should be good. And if, let's say, you're going to be placing Jotaro, this is if you have Jotaro, if you have any unit you want to start placing on the floor because your Tatsumaki sucks, you just get a couple kills with her at first to get money. You could literally place your money units beside you, anything. If you wanted to place your money units, you click, click, over, make sure you click over the unit so the menu disappears. Click on the character, then make sure you click on them where they're placed a bunch of times. Go up and click on the unit again. As you can see, I know where the character is. I could click through her wall. A lot of people don't know that you could just click through her wall. If you're not clicking on her, uh, yeah. It's not going to happen, not going to react. So you could basically click on her a bunch of times and upgrade her a bunch of times. And then always do the same formula. So let's say I'm like, oh, snap, I need a Jotaro. The best place to put Jotaro, let's say this is Jotaro, is right here. Because he's going to be attacking both people that pull up here and there. Obviously, with Tiny Task, you don't want to move any of the the... You don't want to move the arrow keys because that'll change your view. You want to keep the same flat view using WASD. And uh, yeah. So Jotaro, if you're going to upgrade him, make sure you upgrade him to at least level 4. And then you can start placing your other units. So yeah, you clicked on Jotaro. You clicked on him a bunch of times. You level him up. Get to level 4. Then they're like, okay, I need someone else here. I need, I don't know, Saitama. Put Saitama down. Click on the spot you placed him at a bunch of times. Move up. Click on him. 
then start upgrading them. Obviously, this is not Saitama. This is showing you an example of what to do if you have different units. The less units you put on the thing, the less errors it could happen. The less inputs, the less chances of it messing up, if you understand me. So you want to do it with as minimal units as possible. Find out what the sweet spot is for you on Act 6. I find that uh, a good Tatsumaki, if Tatsumaki all seen, Bobak, but then again, you don't want to actually, you don't want to put too many uh, flying units or hill units because as you can see, it was really tricky to put Tatsumaki down. So yeah, just focus on maybe one hill unit and the rest just uh, damage units, you know, if you're struggling. If you have Tatsumaki with not a good passive, still put Tatsumaki down and then put whoever you have after that, you know, whatever characters you have, it's okay. Some characters have weird hitboxes though. I wouldn't suggest those. Like uh, the shiny dragon, probably not a recommended unit to use on this. But anyways, for the purpose of just showing that the tiny test works, what we're going to do is we're going to sell all our units first. And we're going to let it fail. So we just want to show you that placing this down is something that works. You know, placing all these units down walking everything works you know we always spawn in the same spot you don't have to worry about it messing up i'm glad they added that to the game because that's a big improvement it's going to help a lot of people grind but the most important thing is that we place tatsumaki that's going to be the hardest unit to place so we know it's a successful tiny test the minute tatsumaki is down because really that's what you should focus on if you don't have tatsumaki get tatsumaki try to get overlord avatar glitched one of those passives is good all scenes good too i would actually try to get two tatsumakis one with uh all scene and one with the other passives because all scenes a great passive for her especially when you're afk in water if you're doing challenges let me know if you want a video and i could do show you the spawns for the challenges too and how i do that stuff anyways we're just going to let us get eliminated here. This is Act 5. I'm going to repeat myself. This is Act 5 we're doing right now. But this works in Act 6. Tatsumaki solos Act 6. Especially on this road because her circle AoE just destroys both units from both sides. They never get a chance to pass even that tree on the other side. They barely have enough time to go around the bend before they get destroyed by her. Because she's just that good. Good attack rate, good attack speed, strong damage, and uh, crazy range. Best character in the game, hands down. Alright, we just gotta wait for us to get eliminated. And then we stop the tiny task. Uh, when you see the victory screen and the retry button, make sure that you give it 15 to 10, 10 to 15 seconds. So count to 10, count to 15, and then stop the tiny task the recording so that way you have some buffer room if there's lag in the server if something happens you know that you have area to play around with and you won't get kicked or you won't lose it won't be too soon all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom stop the tiny test press play on the tiny task now if everything works out, because sometimes it doesn't, that's why you always have to replay. We should be able to place Tatsumaki. That's the most important. Boom. I like that. See that little window right there? That's the window I'm talking about on the building. I find that you want to put inside that window. Ooh. Okay, it looks good. It looks like we have a successful tiny task. I'm not too worried about the other units. They're going to be placed down. The only thing that could be wrong with the placing down of the other units is if I didn't click on the spot enough. Or I don't have enough money when I'm placing them down. Make sure you don't jump the gun. Sometimes it's good to wait for the money to accumulate before you start placing units down. Because if you have 900 and the unit costs 900, sometimes the tiny test is a little ahead. Sometimes 
the units are a little slow, there's some lag, and you don't get that money, well, now your tiny task is broken because you jumped the gun. So I always like to have a buffer of around 500 to 1,000. Just to know. Sometimes more. Sometimes 1.5 thousand is not bad to have. But then it could mess up your tiny test if you're upgrading. You don't want to upgrade past a certain amount. So you got to really t test out and see which units work. Uh, yeah. Jotaro is great for this because he's so cheap. Saitama also solos. Once you get Saitama down, you're pretty much, once you get him to uh, before the 20k, before he costs 20k to upgrade, he's literally cheap as Jotaro. It's like having two Jotaros and one of them attacks air because Saitama is a hybrid. So yeah, as you can see, everything's good. I'm just going to wait. Might as well wait a little longer. See when we place down the other units if everything's good. We have our money unit. As you can see, you can farm money at the same time. That's what's really good about these spawns. And people should be happy because now they could get shanks if they really need it. Shanks, spanks. If you didn't know. If you want to check out my other video on uh, Act 6, I will put it at the end of the video where you could check it out. Me soloing Act 6 with the new spawns. I just released that video. And yeah. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Put them in the comments. I'll try my best to respond uh, promptly. But as you can see, there's not really much uh, else, you know, to do. We're just chilling, having a good time, living our lives. And I hope you guys are also enjoying yours. Appreciate all the support from the channel. Uh, yep. Hopefully you're very successful in your tiny tasking and see you in the next video. Peace.